that when he met with God at Peniel in Genesis 32, God asked him, what is your name? And he did not lie. Because Jacob means deceiver, supplanter. He told him, God, I am Jacob. I know that all through these years, I've been doing it on my own. But now, I come broken before you. And to establish that, that covenant, the angel touched the hip and destabilized him. The place of stability was where he touched and he went out of joint. So God was telling him, all through your life, you must depend on me. So when we come to Hebrews chapter 11, he says that Jacob pronounced a prophetic blessing over his sons, leaning on the staff. He was leaning on God. He had come to that point where he was no longer trusting in, him, in himself, in his ability, in the things he had, in, he, that, that, that he possessed. And he was broken before God. And from that point, God says, you will now be called Israel. So even though he was doing well, he had not reached the apex. He had not reached where God wanted him to be. God wanted him to be the, the father of the 12 tribes. He wanted to establish his kingdom through him. And can I tell you, had it been Jacob, did not get broken at that place, he would not become Israel. God will look for another person. Because God cannot use a man that is not broken. So you may think that you are doing well, but you are not where God has ordained for you. And you cannot get there unless you throw away the bonds of the flesh, the bonds of self, trusting in yourself. Oh, I am this. Oh, I am that. I can do this. I can do that. The, the scripture will say that you may increase, that I may decrease. That is the voice of brokenness. That is the voice of brokenness. So make ready your chariots. Make ready your horsemen for war. But in your hearts, know that the victory is of the Lord. Don't be on our feet. Know that victory is of the Lord. And tell him, Lord, this is me. There is the result. There are people you will touch and you'll be like, ah, your results are wonderful. They'll tell you, no, 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 no. It's not me. They understand. They understand. They understand that there is an invisible part of that equation. So you will look at David and say, you are a man of, of valor. You will say, no, no, no. Victory is of the Lord. There is an invisible force you are not seeing. There is a posture I am taking. It was David in Psalm 51 verse 17 that gave us that protocol. He says, a broken and a contrite heart, the Lord cannot, there is something God cannot resist. Brokenness. Hannah got to that point of brokenness. Before she got to that point, she was saying, God, give me a child. And in her mind, it was so that I can pride in that child. So that I can also mock Peninia. So that I can be part of those that answer people that have children. And she was crying to God. And God did not respond. Until she traveled to that place of brokenness. Where she said, God, it's no more about me. It's about you. Give me a son and I will give him back to you. It's for you. It's not because of Peninia. It's not because of other women. What is that thing that you are trusting God for? What is that thing that you need resort in? Have you got into the place of brokenness? Where you are saying, God, it is not me. I cannot do this. <laughs> if you don't get there, God will keep dragging you on till you get to that place before he will release it. He will keep dragging you. That was how he was dragging Gideon. Dragging Gideon. Reduce your army. Reduce your army. Until they go to 3,300 um, men. So that he, he, his, his dependence will not be on the army. His dependence will not be on man. It will be on God. Can you lift up your voice and say, Lord, I have come. In this matter, Lord, I know I cannot give myself the results. And so I ask for your help. I ask for your mercy. It's only those that have come to the place of brokenness that can ask for mercy. That can ask for mercy. And mercy is that hand that will bring you into that promised land. For Mephibosheth, he was down. He had gone down to Lodiba until the mercy came. 
He says, David just woke up one morning and said, Is there no man of the house of Saul that I may show him mercy, that I may show him goodness, so the mercy of God can find you wherever you are. The goodness of God can find you wherever you are. The goodness of God, the mercy of God can give you the results that you desire. But you must get to that place of brokenness. You must get to that place where you say, God, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Take over. Jehovah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over. To the end of Ayanamana Kayana Jehovah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, Jehovah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, He cannot take over until you come to the end of yourself. And I see things dropping, dropping onto us as we get to that place, that end, the end of ourselves, the end of our dependence on our strength. Things, he's dropping things, gifts. I see gifts, boxes dropping, dropping for those that have gotten to that place, to that place. God is waiting for you there. He's waiting for you there and he's not in a hurry. He's not in a hurry. We are the ones in a hurry. He is not in a hurry. He will wait for you until you get to that place of brokenness. And then he will come. if you want to kneel down, kneel down. If you want to lie, lie down. The Lord is here reaching out, reaching out, reaching out to those that have gotten to that place of brokenness and He's waiting for you. I want to live here, but it's as though God is holding me back. There are some people He's still waiting for. There are some people he's still waiting for. He's still waiting for you. 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 And it's not difficult. It's just about your heart connecting. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Lord, perfect your work in our lives. In the name of Jesus.